everyone. What's up, guys? Welcome <laughs> to boy. welcome to Dark and Dicey. You may notice something's a little bit different. Our normal DM, KG Tang, uh, is out sick. He is apparently recovering, which is good, but he wasn't feeling up to par for a show today. So I'm going to sit in his place for a little campfire episode. You're not KG. I'm not. It's um. true. How'd, how'd you know? <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is before we start this off, we're gonna start this off with a little Q&A. Uh, I asked you guys on Twitter to post some questions under hashtag dark and dicey. So we're gonna read some of these questions and we're gonna answer them the best we can for about 10 minutes and we're gonna, we're just gonna jump right into it. Let's so, just so, jump right into it. So uh, before we hop into this, why don't we just go around, give everyone a fresh reminder of who we are, starting over here. My name is Zach Callison. I'm a voice actor, actor, music artist. Uh, you might know me as Steven on Steven Universe, um, or for my music that I just started putting out. And uh, I play a guy named Wobblin Warcheek. He's basically uh, Liam Neeson from Taken, but uh, with a really heavy accent, and he's three feet tall. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina V. I'm a voiceover actor and other things that I can't think of. Uh, you miraculous ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> Sailor Moons. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasies. Cool. Star Wars. Heckin' things. And I play a character, her name is Anya Tuklithi Lipnitskaya, and she is gonna kill you all. <laughs> Great. Hi, I'm Hunter Hughes, aka Dookie Shed on YouTube. I make videos on YouTube, and I play a character. <laughs> Named Kovacs. I don't think he has last name. And uh, he is a half elf oath breaker paladin. He's very broody and pretty. <laughs> That's true. Hi, I'm Anna Brisbane, or Brizzy Voices. I'm a voice actor and a YouTuber. And I'm playing Trix Satirdu, the halfling barbarian haunted by a demon. And uh, I am Nathan Sharp, also known as Nate Wants to Battle. I'm a singer, voice actor, do a lot of stuff, uh, and I normally play Pluk. He is a Kenku Swamp Druid, uh, but today I am actually your DM. So let's go ahead and hop into some questions. I want to start with this one. Uh, at Aureli Posts asks question for all of you. What do you love the most so far in this show? Just laughing at you guys being ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, y your ridiculous decisions and um, just yeah. all of the these moments mm -hmm. are probably my favorite. I love, <laughs> I love KG. Yeah, KG is what I love. He's, he's amazing. Ditto. KG is amazing. <clears throat> Big shoes. Big shoes. Large. <laughs> la large <laughs> glovins. <laughs> Small no. glovins. Uh, we didn't last five minutes. Anything you guys want to add? Uh, yeah, the memes. <laughs> <laughs> the memes weird. that we, we use and the memes that we've spawned by accident. Mm -hmm. Everything shenanigan related. Oh, yeah. I love Snick Snick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he surprised me. Because, I mean, I knew that I wanted a snake, but as soon as I, like, made him, and uh, KG, me and KG didn't interact before that with mm -hmm. Snake, and he just... This, his character surprised me so much, and I love him. It's a good character. Uh, He's so good-hearted. Mm -hmm. We almost lost him. Uh, I know. Okay, so a problem with a lot of these questions is they're, like, spoilery, and I don't want too much to be revealed. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Spoiler for like what we're, we've done or what we're uh, doing? Just asking about stuff that in due time may be right. revealed gotcha. organically. So, hmm. Ooh, here's a good one. Um, at uh, Author Brain asks if your character had a hype song, what would it be? <laughs> Mine would be Moscow! Hey! Um, Enter Sandman. Ooh, yeah, that makes sense. This summer, <laughs> a paladin. <gone>. Yeah. <laughs> the I mean, the first one that came to mind was "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor." But. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, fucking what up, me? Well, shook. Probably some like classic, like Brit rock, like uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. like something. The Who. 
<laughs> no, something like dark, like "Babe, I Want to Leave You" by Led Zeppelin, or, <laughs> like something really brooding and like, like you took my daughter, prepare to die type thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like Plux would have to be like, like flogging Molly or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was but, like, like say. Murphy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say a dropkick Murphy's. Yeah, like Boys on the fit. Docks or something. <laughs> oh, that'd be that'd be tight. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> to Boston. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Or like 500 miles. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. We in, a, we in a week up. Let's be, <laughs> let's be honest, though. Plus, song would probably be some. <laughs> or Freebird. Oh, true. Yeah. Ah! See, I could hey! see him just doing like some like Transformers Bumblebee style thing where he just like plays the song like out of his mouth like a battery <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like super it. compressed, like no high end. <laughs> Plug <laughs> not MP3. <laughs> do not open. Uh, uh, okay, I want to do one more. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's uh, see. Scrolling through. Scrolling through. Uh, oh, this one. Well, this one is who's Nate gonna kill as a DM? I guess we'll find out. But we need a better one than that. But we can't um, mess with the time. Not the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, oh wait, there was something. Oh, isn't it? This is an, this is an, this is an interesting one. Um, since you're all actors, what previous role of yours can you see being part of your party? And I guess we can also include like D and D characters or anything like that. So, I guess character-wise, who would be a fun character? Have we played in our career, or like just in D and D, or uh, both? I say both. Okay. Anyone? Mm-hmm. I ain't no actor. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I would love at some point to include my boy Li Feng. It's my, I think my very first D&D character I played with my party with my best friends. And um, he was the only one to survive all the sessions at the end of the campaign. Everybody else had to like flip over a new character. Uh, he was in, like incredibly, brutally strong and just stupidly moronic. I played with the caveat that he, my, the DM gave me increased at, like fighting stats at the cost of like never being able to make decisions for himself. He's like so unsure of himself and, and like clings on to like authority and leadership figures so much that before he does anything, he has to ask for permission or instructions. Mm-hmm. And it, it just caused chaos for the party. It, it got people killed. It did all these great things. And he, oh, I, yeah, he, he's, he very much embodies the spirit of some of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> By you. Well, we already have a boar. We should just get Hawk in here. Oh, yeah. Get a little pig. Get a little pig. Oh. You can have two little Get pigs. A sassy pig mm-hmm. with his own tavern. <laughs> it's true. Are we saying that our boar in this campaign is a little pig? <laughs> no, you're saying the one that would be added. Okay. Be a, be a little, little pig. pig. He but can. I would say down. so. This isn't necessarily like acting, but there there is some RPG element here. Um, two RPGs that I played a lot were EverQuest and World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Um, my paladin Y Stan in EverQuest and my Blood Elf paladin Kovax in World of Warcraft are definitely like smash together, add some evil, and that's Dark and Dicey Kovax. So. <laughs> uh, I played this uh, cashier octopus named Steph in the game Paradigm who just like really didn't care about anything, but she just wanted to screw over her drug dealer boss. And I feel like she could, would, I would see her as an NPC in some form. Very cool. That totally seems like someone that would fit in with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, man, I'm trying to think for this, this campaign. Um, I feel like, I mean, the only like remotely evil thing would be uh, Damien from Monster Prom and just play him as a Monster tiefling. Prom. Which, like, he's a little, he's a little hot headed demon boy, so. I think that'd be fun. I've also never played a tiefling, so that could be cool. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's all the questions that we're going to do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead oh. and hop into this, shall we? Sup, Dad? <laughs> so, last time we left off, the Shenana gang had gotten into uh, some antics that had to do with some costumes and some personas and some, well, to some characters, maybe slightly offensive avian themes. <laughs> However, we're gonna turn the dial back a little bit by a few days for our little campfire episode here. We're gonna be talking a lot 
uh, during the time, the week leading up to those events in our week off here while we were waiting for the costumes to be ready, while we were waiting for these missions to happen. So, with that being said, you guys find yourself waking up at the Pretty Cook. You're all in your rooms, and you have another off day to kind of do what you please. Maybe uh, stretch your legs, maybe do some shopping, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, head to the bar. Grab Questions. Yes. Uh, is this uh, the episode before the most recent one, basically? Like, yeah, do you, we'll do say you, it, you've got the lizard babies? Yeah, yeah, we'll say okay. Clark has the lizard All babies. All right, so we're, we're just one, this is one episode behind, basically. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have troubles. I need you to help. Okay. I'll do the best I can. Again, also, first time DMing, go easy on me. <laughs> so what would everyone like to do? I want to kill all of these people. <laughs> what Just kidding. We'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a JK. Is this canon? Does it matter? Yes. It matters. <laughs> um, what... We'll see how the day goes. Okay. <laughs> um, total theoretical. If I if I wanted to try and raise an entire human city's graveyard from the dead, how, how would I go about about doing that? I feel like you already tried to do that. And uh, did I? <laughs> um, never mind. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, probing it's like, for go easy on me. <laughs> like, I would like to raise the dead. <laughs> I would like to kill my party. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's off to a great start. I want some breakfast. Yeah, I was about to say breakfast. I want breakfast. Okay. And I want to call out for Google. <sighs> no reply from Google. Google appears to be off, still doing some surveillance. I don't think he likes. Oh yeah, I think he was researching during that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He's Anya answers. Something. Hello, it's not Google. It's I, Anya. Hello, good morning, little one. How is life? I can answer any questions. Oh, really? Yes. I can actually see the resemblance a little bit. This ought to be Thank you, I appreciate what what is question. Hmm. Okay. Anya. Yes. How many kids do you wanna have? I want to have seventy-two. Oh yes, but from oh wait. No, this would work easier if I was men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe Do you lay eggs? Do I? Do you? <laughs> okay, Google. Uh, all right. We'll come back to that. <laughs> uh, so have you guys gone down to uh, yeah. the dining area? Yeah. All right, cool. They can lay eggs or give live birth. Well, there you go. Oh, you want to can interbreed. <gasps> you can lay clutches of eggs. So you could... Oh, okay. Interesting. Yes, I will have 72 children. So I guess if you, like, bang a reptile, you're going to lay eggs, but, like, maybe if it's a human, you're just going to give birth? Maybe. Wait, oh, so, so I... they can get it on with a different species? Yeah, they, they can interbreed. Here's a question. Can they have both at the same time? Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, DM, question. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hi. Hello. It's me, the guy who signed up for this. <laughs> uh, so you guys make your way downstairs. And uh, the pretty cook's behind the counter. He's just... What can I do for you? Have you been drinking, Maya? Have you not? <laughs> no, I haven't. Can you get me a pint? <clears throat> sure. Make it's... that two. Thank you. Two one. It's just... What time is it? Early enough. He brings out four pints and just lays them down. No, no, I'm Go good. Go my friends. So you can have mine. I'm okay. Oh, all right. And he just takes in. Cheers. Cheers, my. You <clears> have a point. Cheers. Mm. I know how to do this now. We taught you well. Everybody's got to have that first experience where the wheels just completely fall off. Well, mm. I don't remember it, so, um, sounds like a success. It, very good. It was very good. I feel like staying in control is preferable. Trixa, we don't have anything to do today. Control, we might as well yes. unwind. And I don't know, have you seen me unwound? <laughs> That's a fair point. So be honest, when have any of us been control, in control in the past few weeks that we've known each other? Seriously. I like to think I have. I've been so good. What are we talking about again? 
control. <laughs> I spaced. <What>? Yeah. <laughs> I spaced control. out. I'd like to be in glued. You All need right. to go back to bed. <laughs> I need to do many other things. <clears throat> You guys want some breakfast? I want breakfast. No. Breakfast? All right. Yeah. I would love some, some, some breakfast. Let me see what we got. He uh, kind of dig, digs around, goes through uh, various ingredients, various cabinets, and he finds. <clears throat> says, uh, I still got some of that uh, snake souffle. No. You, no. That's pretty old by now, but. Oh, no, this one's else? fresh. This from yesterday. Yeah. I would rather uh, not okay. have snake. <clears throat> no. Well, no. Um, okay. No. He uh, gets a plate of snake souffle for Warblin. It's. Uh, I smack it, <laughs> <laughs> and then I set it on fire. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Rest in peace, little one. You deserve the better. Hold on. Let me see something. So as you throw it up and set it on fire, it falls back down, and the pretty cook manages to catch it and goes. Oh, it's reheated now. Here you go. Oh, very good. Uh, it you know, Anya, I was thrown in jail for arson. Yes. And murder. Oh, yeah? Not me. So perhaps um, setting things on fire in a public establishment is not a fantastic idea. Let me tell you, uh, yo, Auntie, I don't really have a concept of uh, uh, excuse law me. and order and, you know, all that. Well, that mm. would explain a lot. He set fire every day to cook. Yeah. This is fair. That's how you make food. You use fire. Oh, so it, was, it was a good trick. I liked it. Thank you. Should, you. you if you hire me, I can, uh, I can do some job for you. Oh, let's, let's, well, let's talk. Let's All right. It out. I'd, uh, I'd be careful about business arrangements, given how that's gone in the past. Well, well what can you do? So, let me see here. Yeah, so you have your souffle. Um, he asks <clears throat> the rest of you if there's anything you'd like to eat, since you're not feeling snake. Uh, what, you got anything else? Got bugs. Okay. Pluck perks up like... <laughs> bugs, 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 Do you bugs, have bugs, How are they bugs? Eggs, eggs. I got bug eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of seasoning? Uh, dill. Oh, great, yeah, I'll take some <laughs> dill. <laughs> So he f he's gonna he's gonna fry up some some bugs. What I have any dis okay. disappointment water stored up from the um, water deep oh, thing? Abs absolutely. We uh, I mean cool. we are we are uh, partial owners, so <laughs> don't mind me. I like I'd like to assume our rooms are lined with them. <laughs> yeah. Decorative. Mm-hmm. So he serves you up some some nice some nice big. Big roasted, uh, one of those giant centipedes on a plate. One of the legs is still twitching a little bit. You know, it's fresh. He's like, he says, oh, sorry about that. And he just passed the leg off. <laughs> like, all right. Takes that, kind of puts it in his pocket. So, so this is garnish. Okay. Try, I'm trying to, trying to get that A rating. <laughs> yep. Enjoy. Thanks. Also hands you a plate of the same meal. Thank you. Appreciate. Uh, I just eat my centaur jerky. Oh. I did not. I, I sprinkle it on top. Oh. Don't look at this meat. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse. Who said you can look at it? I'm, I, I'm, I'm very sorry, ma'am. <laughs> it's okay. Well, maybe again, maybe we should go on business sometime. Maybe we should talk about this. And... In your dreams, you cannot afford me. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> And he hands you <clears throat> an egg-like substance. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this, this needs a little more dill. Oh, sorry. Like he a lot. He takes out a little, well not a little, little to him canister of what is clearly not dill. You are unsure of what it is, so I slams it down. Can I, can I roll to see, see what it is if I know? Sure. <laughs> Uh, just a general roll or something specific? Yeah, give me a... <laughs> give me, give me a, give me a nature check. Twelve. Twelve. It's dill-like. 
It's uh, it smells a little once living ish, oh. but you're not sure what it is. <clears throat> Delicious. Yeah, um, tastes like mom's. How's my egg like egg? Um, it has the consistency of egg. That's good. That's about, <laughs> that's about all that's... What about the flavor? Oh, that's a much different story. Ah. It, um, it just tastes like the same bug you had a few days ago. Mmm. Great. Cool. It, it's a new thing I'm trying. You like it? Cool. It's cool. not nice. any worse than what I've had here before. I'll take a plateau. <laughs> cool, Vicks. You don't look very happy. Would you like a piece of my my snack? Your snack? Snack, not snack. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> snack. I was not talking about you. Oh, I'm very sorry. How are you today, snack? Oh. <laughs> I think better. Snack, you you are really wibbly wobbly for snack. I think he's got like a joint problem or something. I think I need more sleep. And go back to sleep, Snick. Snick, Snick. Good night, Snick. He flops back to sleep. Snick. Back under your hair. You want Snick? Um, sh- sure. Here you go. Snick. Snick. Can I, I can't talk to Snick, though. It's not Snick, no. it's Snack. Snack. Oh, snack. you're giving me a snack. A jerky-like substance? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Oh. No, I don't want to eat Haven oh, Spear. Not. You didn't mm. say heaven spare. He said, I don't want to eat hen in here. Hen yes. In, yeah, I don't want sure. to eat hen in here. Actually, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> what, what guy is that? What, what's that, mate? This? The, oh, you, no worries. I killed something in the woods a long time ago, like yesterday, and I just made it into jerky. You cannot eat it. Actually, you want a snack? You want to try? I don't want that at all. Oh, it's pluck! Pluck, have some! No, Jerky is not from animals. No, no, do it. What? I, I didn't plan to. No, it's all right. I'm, go- I'm very good. Pluck, uh, pluck very politely turns it down eh. as he's putting two, to two, two and two together. Pluck. Oh, yeah. I grew up eating cave mole, and I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot. Why? Oh, it's good. Ten foot pole. It's good for the orphans. You've been feeding it to the orphans. You know it's so bad. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Didn't hear that. Uh, you provide. Hey, pluck. <clears throat> oh, I, I don't want to get dragged into this. I'm not dragging you. I just saying, hey, pluck. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. You you want to good bond? You want to like talk? You want to go out and take a walk? Pluck like disappears into the shadows mid sentence and just like <laughs> is just gone. <laughs> Just, it's like the Homer Simpson in the hedge <laughs> thing. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly the visual. So, no. Hey, what's Brady Cook up to right this second? Brady Cook's hanging. He's just, you know, prep, doing some meal prep for the so day. He's still, like doing busy work? Well, yeah, busy work. Can I, uh, can I try to stealth into, does he have like a pantry where he keeps his ingredients and such? He does. Can he I try to stealth in there? Sure thing. Those dice pretty bad. So you try to stealth as Brady Cook's just like hacking away at meat, and he sees he's like, Hi. Do you mind if I have a look? I'm looking for some uh, rare ingredients. Sure. You seem all right. Have at it. Don't steal nothing. If you find something, you won't. Talk to me. <laughs> cool. A. A. <laughs> so what is it you're looking for? I just want to see what the hell he's making all these, like, pseudo dishes out of. And mm. if he's got anything special, too, I'll take a look for that. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me an <clears throat> investigation check. Five. It's bugs. <laughs> all you see are bugs. There's just lots of bugs. And then Great. there are seasonings that you can only assume are also bugs, just simply crushed up into season-like powder. 
but in the end, it's it's not pretty. It's 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 pretty grody, actually. Okay. There's but a couple little like snake carcasses ready to be souffléed. But it's it's mostly what he's been telling us. It is. Mm-hmm. Okay. As far as you can see. I'd like to uh, like try and feel around like the corners and the floors, see if I can find like a trapdoor of any kind. Okay. There is the uh, there is the hole. Uh, from the first time you were right. here, where all the uh, bugs are kept, and you know that's there. Yeah. How how formidable were these bugs last time we went down there? Um. Well, apparently they were big enough for an animal handling check, so they're pretty. They're pretty. Uh, pretty large. They're pretty uh, intense. <clears throat> so you okay. can say they. Uh, yeah, they're they're centipedes that are like three to five feet long. Okay. There's beetles that are like the size of footballs. There's just large gross things crawling around. I'm gonna return to the party for now. <laughs> okay, sure thing. Is there anywhere in town I could buy torches, tinderbox, lock picking set? Okay. There might be, you're unsure. But we can come back to that. Okay. Is there anything the rest of you guys would like to do here? I'm just like halfway through my egg-like thing, and I'm just I'm gonna go liquid diet today. Mm-hmm. Just uh, n- a nice <laughs> breakfast stout, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want to go up to Kovacs. Kovacs. Hello. Try this jerky, please. I need your help. I don't know. I don't know if I'm biased against myself. Just taste you, it. You were Just an emotional it. wreck when I'm you not. killed Haven Spear, and now you're turning him into jerky. This is how savages show their love, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know that? Do they know that it's Haven Spear? I doubt it. I don't think so. Right? I thought we figured it out by now. Do I know? What I know? I think you're probably. You might be suspicious, but I don't think you know. Huh, maybe I don't know. Here, have some jerky! Oh, well, this sure looks a lot better than what I've been served today. <laughs> what is that? How is it? How is... What, what do I taste? <clears throat> roll, roll an... Roll an insight check. That's not... Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. It's uh, it's a little, it's a little tough. Tastes like uh, it has a, it has, hmm. It, it, it tastes like, like kind of plain jerky. And as you bite into it, it releases a weird like fume that kind of like. Fills up your sinuses. It's very, it's very odd. It's very mm. off-putting. I've never had this sensation before. No, it's there. You feel that there's some sort of secret or special ingredient used to, we'll say, season. Do I like jerky. it? I don't think you like it. Anya, what is this? It's delicious jerky I made from my own hands. This is made of your hands? No, I made it from my hands. Out of? Out of no, like what I made it with my. Wait, out of what? What uh, animal is it? Oh, I made it from scratch. You um, invented an animal? What is I it made... like? Synthetic? No, it's just delicious. It's vegan? Why are you guys what? always. Why are you is this meat? I'm just trying to share my meat with is, you and you're just this... interrogating. I'm curious. I'm just curious. Is it a person? No. I've never had. I wouldn't put it past her. It is a deer that I found. Oh, it's deer. And I killed it. And then I think I I've had deer. I'm pretty sure I've had Tell deer. Puck. I've had deer, Anya, and this is not deer. Oh. Yeah, I don't smell like venison. Well, I, I don't. You just give it back to me. Anya? What? What did you kill? A woodland creature. What kind of woodland creature? One with four legs. Continue. That narrows it down. And with um, uh, his fur. How much fur? A lot of a lot of fur. It's a very big fuzzy beast. 
big fuzzy with four legs. A bear? It uh, tried to attack poor Anya. It's way too lean for bear meat. I tried to attack Anya, so I protect myself and I killed it. By yourself? With these hands. And then I made it into meat. <laughs> Didn't Do you I go believe missing or something her? the other night? <laughs> what? Meat? No. I don't know what you're talking. Something happened out there. What she's describing all still fits the Haven Spear encounter. So could I like roll insight and see if I can like read between yeah, go the lines? Ahead, go ahead and Yeah, everyone roll insight. I will roll insight. Not you. Everyone except on you. Fourteen. Dirty, dirty twenty. Three! Dirty twenty. Okay, so we have twenty. Fourteen. Three. Fourteen three. So uh Werblin. With that, you you s slightly recognize the taste. It is almost reminiscent. It's it's very it's it's very like muscly. It's very tough. You know that it comes from an animal that isn't some woodland creature. You th you think it's something that's very strong and very fast. Something something very athletic. I'm guessing, by the way you said that, I know this from, like, experience. I feel like I would. Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're lying to me. Because you are, you are racist. <laughs> Not if I know it from experience. <clears throat> mm, you know what? I, I know enough about this to want to have. No part of this right now. Well... Don't eat the meat. Eat the meat. Too late. <clears throat> it is at that time... You see... Actually, let me see here. Can everyone... Roll a perception check. At advantage. <laughs> oh, Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh, okay. Whoa! Uh, we are 18. perceptive after. Dirty 20. Whoa! <laughs> so you all <laughs> paying attention. Hoorah! <laughs> Mid sentence, you all instantly notice a hooded figure walk into the pretty cook. Oh, hello, hooded figure. Hi. My spidey senses are tingling. You must be new to this town. Welcome to Anya's neighborhood. That is my statue, as you may see out there. I like sit up straight and put my hand on my weapons. Those are my children you see running around? Well, not mine. I'm still uh, looking for a... You know, some, oh. This figure walks in and is immediately bombarded by you guys. <laughs> and just kind of... Like, he's, he's kind of keeping his head down. His face is still covered. All you can see is that he's a... Uh, he is most likely a male figure. He has a, he has a purple hood over his face. And he's just kind of like... He puts his hands up and like <clears throat> slowly like just tries to like angle around you. Hey mister to get, to get to the to get to the bar. He's like What? Why are you being all secretive? What's with the hood? When somebody walks into a bar is it, is your first reaction to just We're harass the them? Only ones here. Is that Never. a joke? Always. Is that is there a punchline? I think you're the punchline. <laughs> 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 Um, while you guys were just talking just now in these few seconds, he's already snuck past you and he's just sitting at the bar and he's just ordering. He goes up to Bray Cook and he goes, We got that strong. Bray Cook is like, Hmm. Oh, ah, I have something left over. And he takes out the thing that I wrote down. <laughs> that is no longer written down. That's a good feature. Is it the bulbous beer? Bulbous, that's the word I was looking yeah. for. Takes out the bulbous. Was it beer or bourbon? Was it beer? It was. It just was bulbous. Crazy. <laughs> bulbous. He pours him a bulbous. Figure takes a drink. Cheers. I slide down next to him. Hello, stranger. You might have not heard me earlier, but this is Anya, and this is Anya's neighborhood. Do you want a piece of jerky? Please try it. <laughs> What? Are you so quiet? You need the help? It's with the speaking? He takes one look at the jerky. He goes... 
What? He takes his like. What is it? I'll save that for later. Thank you. Mm. As you hold your hand out. I'm looking for feedback. Yes. He grabs your hand. Oh! <clears throat> and he looks at the bracelet me. that you're wearing. A boy is touching me. A boy is touching me. This goes, could be it, guys. This could be it. You are wearing a bracelet, right? Yeah. You're, you all have bracelets at this point. Yeah, I, I think don't. You, everyone you don't. So, yeah. But the rest of you do. Looks at the bracelet and goes, What? Can I have this? Uh, no! I killed my future centaur boyfriend to get it! Shush! <coughs> Did I say kill? I meant I, I took a pill. Like, uh, for my crazy, because I'm so crazy. I slide a couple seats well, at away. least she knows. Huh. Loose lips on you. Interesting. What? He said, he's, you got some loose lips on you there. He likes your lips. Oh, I thought you said, I thought he know my name. He said, loose lips on loose ya. Loose lips on ya. I thought, <laughs> and he looks like, like six nights. My name is and Anya. Then, and, well, after you said, he goes, Anya. Okay. Anya. And you can call me loose lips. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> Instant regret. Who are you? He, uh... He, is, he completely ignores you. He is dead set focus on Anya and her bracelet. We do not get many uh, strangers around these parts. So you might notice my, my lackeys might be a little excited to see you, but... That's, that's very interesting. I'm the leader. They all listen to me. It's like, good. And as a good leader, yeah. you should give me that bracelet. Yeah. Anya, I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm not wise. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, let me see, wisdom. Oh, no, I have a plus one. Twelve. 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 Um, as he asked that, you felt something come over you. And for a split second, you felt... You felt the urge to comply with him and give up your, bra your bracelet, but it quickly goes away, and you ha you again have no urge to give him the bracelet. We, we can hear all hear this exchange, yeah? Uh, all you saw was him say, you should give me the bracelet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to come up next to her and be like, you got a name. Yeah. You? You first. I wasn't asking if you, what your name was. Well, I am. He looks. He looks at you. Looks down at your wrists. Like, wait, do you have a bracelet as well? All three of you do. Yep. Correct? Yeah. Okay. He looks down. He's like, tell you what. Let me get that bracelet, and uh, maybe you can learn some about me, huh? <laughs> Prick. I just pull up, pull out my weapon. Pretty cup. <clears throat> yeah. Consider his tab paid for mine. You've got an unwanted customer in here. Oh. This guy goes. So that's that's how you want to do this, huh? Wait. And he goes. All right. And he just puts his hands up. Catch you later. And he leaves. Uh, Pretty Cook's like, do you know that guy? I do now. Huh. I didn't even really see his face. You ever seen him around here? No. New here. Did you get a good look at his face? I just saw eyes. And they made me want to do things, like give him my bracelet, but only for a second, and I felt normal again. He was trying to what? trick you in some way. Oh, I cannot be tricked. I am the tricker. Wait, does that mean he cast magic? But he doesn't have a bracelet. Oh. Anya, roll uh, roll insight for me. Hmm. Let's see. Five. As far as you're concerned, the uh, quick glimpse you got of his eyes, they were just... He just seemed like such a... 
Such a charming fellow. His eyes told a story of sadness. His eyes, they told a story of sadness. And you just... And I just... You just like, I felt for the guy for a second. I felt for the guy for the second. Oh, okay. Just, you felt for someone. Oh, uh, yeah, I have feelings a lot. <laughs> he touched her hand. Yeah, well, I'll do it. Just promise me one thing, you guys. We killed last boyfriend. Do not kill this one. Please. I don't I, I don't understand promise. why everyone is completely obsessed with this stranger who just wanted to sit down and have a drink. And take our because bracelets. Because he asked for the bracelets. He asked me for mine as well. Oh, did he? Yeah, he yeah. tried to take my bracelets. Well, that's interesting. He had some him. sort of uh, control over her compulsions that want, made her want to do it for a moment. I don't know. I think she just thinks he's cute. Yeah, that might be true. I'd like everyone to make perception checks. Not 20. Ooh. I got my ears Two. out today. Tan. 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 Okay. You two, off in the distance, you hear a, you hear a thud. You hear like. <gasps> you look at your drinks, and with each thud, Drugs. little ripples come through. Golems. What? I told you. Well, not that He tried close. to persuade her. He must have used magic. That's got to be what it is, right? Well, what is? You don't hear that! No. Do we hear it yet? <laughs> At this point, you hear it. There are loud, what you can only assume are footsteps coming oh. in from outside. Do they sound like golem footsteps that we've heard previously? I'd like you to make an inside check. 17. Absolutely. <laughs> he cast magic. He wanted a bracelet. It's a golem. Pluck it's a golem. Harry. Where's Pluck? Get outside! Uh, Pluck! Pluck is also here, and he's just sitting in his corner. Cast pass without a trace! Pluck is just... Pluck! Help us! Like this? Why? What, what, what happened? Who was that? I don't know, but he must have cast magic. He wants some bracelets, and he's bad. We need help. Come on. As far as we know, the golems come to the location of the magic that has been cast. So we meaning, need to go. the pretty cook is about to be flattened. No. No, it, it wasn't repeated casting, was it? Okay. He Listen. cast once, that's enough. We need to go outside. We need to come on. Is there a back door we can run out? One at a time. You said what? I just, just run outside. Pluck follows Wordblood outside. Okay, then I follow them. Yeah, I'm going, yeah. yeah. Alright. Are you all going outside? Yes. You go outside? Pretty cook, come on! I think I'm better suited in here. Be careful! Set yourself, Take care of it. You walk out. Lo and behold, there is a golem waiting there for you. I'd like everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Five. Okay. I should have this memorized by now. Where is I my know, initiative right? modifier? Combat. Boom. Oh, sorry, seven. I forgot to have my modifier. Okay, so. Fifteen. Twenty. Okay, twenty. Fifteen. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I did it. Well, you said fifteen? Mm hmm. Fix hmm. up. Eight. Eight. Why okay. did we go out the front door? Uh, is there another door in the pretty cook? I don't know. All right, let me and jump out a window. This guy. Okay. All right. Okay. Anya. Do what? You are face to face with this giant golem. Hello, golem. It I looks. I to speak to it. You want? Oh boy. You want to speak to the golem? Yes. Okay. What would you like to say or do? Hello, golem. Hello! You might have recognized me from the giant statue in the middle of town. We would learn much not luck to bet it to bet it squished. Can we solve this peacefully? Look! I have bracelet! They all have bracelet! See? We're good guys. It doesn't say anything, seeing as how it can't talk. <laughs> but judging from its posture, it seems unmoved by your words. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm gonna attack. <laughs> You want to attack? Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, little golem. What would you like to do? Oh, I want to, uh, I want to just firebolt it. Okay. 
Uh, let me see here. Describe these things' appearance a little bit. Like, Ooh. are they just like solid pieces of rock, or are they like, or, or, or metal? I mean, or are they like, so, do they have insides? Um, as best as I can describe it without altering maybe what KG had in mind for it, <clears throat> this one in particular is just this large, almost like Power Ranger bot-like thing. This thing is just like stone armor, just like walking with just all the intent to just smash something. Does he have eyes? It does. Can I shoot a fire in his eyes? Sure. Sweet. Go, go ahead and uh, so you're using fireball? Yeah. That is uh, an attack roll, right? Yep. Yeah, range spell attack. Okay, cool. Go ahead and roll. Uh, 16. Okay. You cast your fire. Yeah, is this a 10? Yes, it is. Wait, wait. You cast fire at him. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> flames shoot out of your hand. Yes. As flames just erupt over its face, the flames clear, and it is still just staring at you completely unchanged. Hello, Golem. It's me again, your best friend, Anya. Kovacs, what would you like to do? So I saw that happen? Mm-hmm. Anya, these things are made of pure adamantite. Oh. It leveled Fizzle's, Fizzlepot's house in a mere matter of minutes. I don't think we can fight this thing. Well, then what do we do? I guess we're not going to have a pretty cook anymore. I guess we should, I guess we should be taking the guy with the cloak and sacrificing it to the golem. That's all he want. Do we see cloak guy anywhere? Uh, roll perception checks, all of you. That's what I was about to say. Mm. Dirty 20. Okay. Ooh. I'm on it with the perception. Area. I got 11. 13. 18. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So, none of you actually see him. You do notice that where he, when he had left, he, there was a, you remember that there was a strange presence to him as he was leaving. He walked out but yet it seemed like the person who walked out was not the person who walked in. <gasps> Get perceived. So you're saying when he walked in, he had a presence, and like when he left that presence, it felt like a different presence? Mm-hmm. Everyone, get away from this thing. Just let it do what it's here to do. I and don't know. Can I just not say a word and run inside? Sure. On your turn. Yeah. Um, go back. I'm not fighting this thing. Oh, wait. I didn't roll for pluck. Poor boy. <laughs> oh. Well, that seems about right. <laughs> uh, okay. Perfect. Does anything special happen if you roll, like, a nat 1 in initiative or no? Depends on the DM. In this case, no. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? I guess... Uh, I'm gonna definitely distance myself from this thing and <laughs> just like start like scoping out town to see if I can find this guy. Okay. Uh, what is your what's your what's your distance? How far can you go on your turn? That is a good question. I'm guessing thirty feet. Ah, uh, thirty feet. <clears throat> unless oh, unless that's... you're trying unless that's all you're doing, in which case you uh, I'll let you double it so you can go sixty. Well, I'm telling, I want to tell everyone to get away, and mm -hmm. then I want to go away. Okay. So is it 30 or 60? 60. Okay. So where, where are you going to go? Um, just like across the, the street there and like just start looking around and looking at the different shops and buildings and stuff and just kind of investigate, see if I can figure out where this guy is. Okay. Um, so I will say that because you are in initiative, if you're gonna run from this thing, you're gonna provoke attack of opportunity. So he's like aggressive. Mm-hmm. You, you can tell he's, he's, like, right, he's, he's, like, he's like right on you and he's getting ready he's to do like something. ready to you would, come you on and slam and welcome yep. to the jam. He would welcome you to but the he jam. could disengage uh. and go 30 feet. Mm -hmm. You could do that. I can, I can disengage? Yeah, I'll allow that. Uh, all right, all right, all right, yep. 
I'm is engaged yeah, with 30. 30 feet okay. enough. You are now 30 feet away from it. Pluck. Ooh, boy. Little, little plucky boy. What are you going to do? Um, Pluck's going to go ahead. Hmm. So Pluck is just... Pluck is just, like, dumbfounded by this thing. He's just looking at it and he's like, We're fucked. We're gonna die. This is how we go. This is not good. And he is going to... I'm gonna go ahead and say that... He is going to try... I think he's gonna try to... Man, what would he do? I don't know how to fight myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's... Pluck is just just crippled with fear, and all he can think to do is run. So he's also... He's going to try and make a break for it. Split up, gang. Uh, Pluck. <laughs> where, you, where are you going? Pluck. <clears throat> and Pluck, being the idiot that he is, is just going to try and make a break for it. So, he is going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not... Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright, so... Let me see. Oh, man. Okay. So, you see Pluck try to run from this thing. And as he runs, this golem reaches down and just grabs him by the foot. And then lifts him up in the air. And literally, like, Hulk with Loki style, just boom! <gasps> just smack, just slams him into the ground. Do I see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, luck? So that, let's call that, yeah. Whew. Okay. 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 Does Pluck have his babies with him? The babies are in the room, fortunately. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Maybe. Oh, that was the wrong thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I do feel scared. <laughs> this is the episode where <laughs> Nate DM kills Nate Pluck. <laughs> okay. From this one slam, you see... Pluck is just messed up. He just, he hits the ground, and you hear this, just this blood-curdling shriek, just, ah! and He's looking messed up. The golem lifts him up again. <gasps> no! And just, from where he first landed Pluck, throws him up back this way, and just slams him down again. So, you see him, pick him up, slam him once, screech, slam him again a second time. No sound this oh time. Oh boy! Uh. Let's him go. Pluck is just unconscious on the ground. <laughs> Pluck? Oh, uh, we should have went on that block! From an attack of opportunity? <laughs> Werblin. One shot? What would you like? To, oh, I'm inside. Right? Or I want to run inside. You want to run inside? Okay. Yeah. Do I need to do anything else once I'm in there, or no? Um, I'm gonna say you can. Let's see. You guys are probably a good like 15 feet out, so I'm assuming you want to engage or disengage and run rather than just right. like try and bolt. Yeah. Okay. So you can get about 10 feet in to the pretty cook and take a look around. Yeah. Let's take a look around. Okay. Uh. Roll yourself, roll your, I'll, I'll give you a perception check, with okay. disadvantage. <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, My perception luck just ran out hard. <laughs> the uh, pretty cook is as you left it, which is great. It hasn't been pummeled to the ground, so. Perceived know, good? It's the little things. Uh. Okay. I call out, I get the babies. <laughs> no. Fantastic. <laughs> Trixa. I want to... Dis oh, wait. I'm so sorry. I meant to put that in a different order. Oh, okay. It is actually the golem's turn. Oh, 
good. Uh oh. So spaghetti. Let's see. So you're inside. Yeah. You're about thirty feet away. Mm-hmm. So that leaves you two still out here, correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this thing. Big smash. Anya. Yeah? This thing, after leaving this poor bird body just on the ground, and Pluck's just there. He's got, like, feathers, like, flying off of him, just, like, from the impact. It was, like, he slammed down. It was just, an, like, an explosion of black feathers. And he's just, like, on the ground, just, like, twitching. And like, he's just, he's just... The only thing I can think of is the baseball. <laughs> no! <laughs> the oh. pitch that killed the, the bird. Oh, God. Bird. God bless Randy Johnson. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. uh the luck. Killer fastball. Are you okay? Literally. Literally. I'm gonna eat your babies if you don't wake up right now. Okay. So this thing turns to you. Hello. And just starts after, like, it, it's like, you, it, it considered the words you had spoken to it. And then considered the blast of fire you sent to its face. Hello. And just starts reaching for you. No! <laughs> Can I do anything? Uh, what is your your armor class? My 12. 12. 12, okay. Oh my god, sorry, I'm just reading the stats on this thing. Okay, does a 27 hit you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, that's a yes. What so, do you mean does a 27 hit me? You said your armor class is 12? Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> so this thing picks up Anya. Ah! Just like like King Kong style. Please wait, I haven't had babies yet. And just like huffs at it. Ah! And then just like uh, holds Anya upside down, just No! Oh! Yo! Smashes into the ground. What is that? I want KG back! <laughs> <laughs> How much damage did I take? Uh, 12. 12? So you take 12 damage. Oh, 12. Okay. Takes you back up. Uh, what? And then just like, just like, garbage it's sick of. Just, boom, slams you down again. No. No. You only get to hit me once! Go- Golem? Golem? Dealing 11. How are you looking? Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 I have 4 HP. Okay. No. Oh my god. No? Maybe this is all just a dream that we all have at the same time. God, I hope so. I, I had that thought. <laughs> a little <laughs> help, please! Well, Anya, it is now your turn. Uh, I want to run away. What to flee? You wanna run? Wait, wait, is that gonna is he gonna hit me if I run? Uh if you disengage you can move thirty feet. I wanna disengage and move thirty feet. Okay. Where would you like to go? Um into the woods. That's it's the woods is a little oh. more than thirty feet. You know what? You could hide in the pretty cook. You could see if there's any cover around. You know what I do? Hmm. I invisible myself. Oh, you want to go invisible? Okay. Yeah. I'm so, sure this goal is just going to adore your magic use. Well. She has a bracelet. Okay. Even, even so, still. you are now invisible. So, uh, with that, you can't run from it. Uh, because disengage and movement would be your entire turn. Yeah. So, you can go... You can go invisible and try to run. That'll provoke uh, attack of opportunity, but at disadvantage. Would you like to do that, or do you want to go invisible and just... I'm just going to freeze. Tight. Okay. So you go invisible. And because you have the bracelet, it isn't going to detect your magic. So you go invisible and the thing just kind of... <gasps> it's looking like right at where it left you. It's just like... <laughs> I don't do anything. I just freeze. I don't even breathe. Okay. Go X. So uh, I see my... My my bros getting massacred. Mm-hmm. All right, 
Well, I'm gonna just like halt my sprint and just like slide and the dust gets kicked up and I just turn around completely and just start just dashing back towards uh, Pluck. Okay. Can I get to Pluck? Uh, so you you disengage and move 30 feet? Yeah. You can get back to Pluck. Can I pick up Pluck and leave? Uh, you can pick him up, but you won't have any distance left on your turn. True. Mm. All right. In that case, I will attack this thing. Okay. Because I don't want do? Pluck to become Pudding. Okay. And I'd rather him focus on me. So. Okay. So let's see what happens here. That's not great. Um, yeah, I'm still getting used to this. Okay, 16. 16. Okay, that does not hit. Uh-oh. What, what were you it's trying to do? It's like, just like, like you know, Your sword just clangs off it. It's just like shaking in your hand. This thing is, this thing is thick. I mean, it's made of my sword. This thing so. is painfully thick, yes. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. And well, as it was looking around for, for Anya, it feels something like flick its ankle, and it's just like... Oh boy. <laughs> so It is now looking right at you. And, let's see. Better me than Pluck. Oh man, I miswrote the initiative. Last turn, do we remember if... Uh, I haven't gone. You, have, you haven't gone? You haven't gone. Okay, let me give you, let me give you, oh shit, sorry, okay. Then, go ahead, Trixa, what would you like to do? Oh my god, that's a, uh, mm-mm. Okay, got it. I would like to disengage and run into the pretty cook. You can absolutely do that. <clears throat> Is there anything you'd like to do, bonus action-wise? Let me take a look around once I mean, again. I would, yeah, see if, what, if, if anyone is still in there. Uh, you run in, you see Werblin, he's kind of like looking around. He's very high alert, and he's trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I would like, I'd like you to roll a perception check at disadvantage as well. Oh, God. Seven. Seven. All you see is Werblin trying to find something. Question. Yes. What do I know about... Like lizard folk and their anatomies and their abilities. What would I know about them? As far as is like there anything particular, acute like senses, what they're good at, what they're bad at. Like, do they have a particularly good sense of smell? Roll insight. Sixteen. You think there's a chance they might? You think that... You don't know this for sure, but based on your experiences, you'd assume something that's a more animal form will have more acute senses. Okay. Is it still her turn, or can I do stuff? Um, you know, because I skipped your turn, I'll give you... I can give you another bonus action. <laughs> because I feel bad. So, um, he is a generous. What would you like to do in here? Um, I I just, oh, but I don't have any reason to search. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just I would like to hide, but also look out the window if that's possible. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Um, you could maybe hide behind a couple barrels that are stacked up, a barrel, uh, barrels of, uh, barrels of booze, or you can hop behind the bar and kind of peek out. You should have a good view of the window um, from there. Is there a back door? <clears throat> is there a back door? There is a back door, yes. Is there somewhere next to that that I can hide? Yes, but I'll say if you're near the back door, you're not going to have as good of a view. This right. is kind of happening out front. Okay, then I'll do behind the bar. Okay, with that, roll one more perception check. Disadvantage? Nope. Oh. 
17. 17. Um, so you leap behind the bar and you peek out and you're right next to the seat where this hooded figure had come in and started talking to you guys. Um, you notice that there was a little dust on his shoes and it left a trail of footprints. And you see the prints from the door walking over to the bar stool, but you don't see another set leaving. So that is what you see. So with that, um, we were we are now at work. Trixa. Mm. He's here. Yeah. You feel it? I point out the I I, I would like to stealthily, like maybe sleight of hand, like point at the footprints to him. You can do it. Okay. Yeah. I I unsheath my sword and mm -hmm. just take a giant hack at where he was sitting. Okay. Like I jump and I, I not a hack. I just jump and like do <laughs> this, and, but with both of them actually. Just so you're doing a full a full out attack on this, like, this like, thing. Like dive into the space where he's at. Yeah, <laughs> where he was. Okay. So you take a big stab at where he was sitting, and it's just whew, there's nothing there. I do like a cool roll. Out of <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, I won't count that as your turn if there's something you would like to try. Because of the cool roll? It was a cool roll. <laughs> <laughs> roll. I've got an idea. Can I run upstairs and get the lizard babies? Sure. Uh, upstairs. Uh, so with, what's your, what's your speed? Oh, where would I even check that? Um, top of page. Top, yeah, yeah, top, top of right. Page. And yeah, yeah. Top right, uh, 25 feet. 25 feet. Okay, um, if you were to use movement for, if you were to run for your movement and your action, uh, you'd be, no, no, it's not crazy far. Okay, you'd be able to get up there and maybe round up the babies, and that would be your turn. That's fine. Okay, so you go upstairs. Um, Come on, you little bastards. <laughs> yeah. Roll a perception check. I know there's a lot of these. That one again. Okay. Ah! You go up and you grab the babies, and you are on your way to bringing them into this chaos. No. Um, okay. So we did that. Um, okay. So now, again, it is the golem's turn. Oh boy. Oh so, god! Kovacs. Yeah. This thing has very much taken sight of you. Mm-hmm. And, as before, you see this big, just stone adamantite gray hand reaching for you. What is your, what's your AC? 17. <sighs> Matched. Does he get me? He does. Great. If it matches the AC, it lands. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. He grabs you. Um, had you grabbed Pluck already, or were you just kind of like by him? No, I didn't grab Pluck okay. because I, if I couldn't get him out of there that turn, I wanted to like distract the golem. So gotcha. yeah, I didn't grab pluck. Okay, so this thing does what it does best. Cool. Raises you up. It's feeling it's feeling a little it's feeling a little spry now that it's gotten some work. So it gives like a little twirl <laughs> while he's up there. And <laughs> it just spikes you, dealing. Mm -mm 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 <clears throat> 23. Holy crap! Oh. Points of damage. Oh. How are you looking over there after the slam? Um, oh. Pretty bloody. That was about half of me. Come okay. on, it's slam. I'm not going. Oh, no. Takes you up again. 
and is about to slam you down, just kind of looks at you. It's a little dangle. And then just slams you again. <laughs> Yeet! Oh! Deal. Thirteen. You're right over there. Barely. Oof. Okay. Our healer is dead. <laughs> I ain't no healer. No. This, this is like a real time simulation oh, of the like a forty man raid when the healers die. Yeah. Um. Tricks up. Um. I'm so suspicious of these footsteps. Mm -hmm. Um. I want to uh, yell out, you got us into this mess, now get us out, Mr. Hood guy. That's what I want to do. Okay. Tell him. Um, no response. I know you're here. I would like to, I would, can you make... I start crying. <laughs> Roll a... Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Natural 20. Ooh, okay. Plus one. <laughs> Plus one. Oh, great, okay. 21. Nice. 21. <laughs> with advantage. Yeah, natural 20. <laughs> um, so, you, you, you initially call out. You call out for help. No response. You start crying. There's just sobbing and there's tears. And then you hear a creak. It sounds like wood panels creaking. And you hear a... And it's coming from the roof. Okay. Can I hear this too? Yes, you can. You're closer, so you definitely hear it. I just come, come out of Pluck's room and I'm just like... Would you like to do any movement? Or do you want to keep hiding? Do I know of a way to get to the roof? You do not. As far as you're concerned, there is actually no entrance to the roof. There's no vines or something to climb? Uh, you'd have to use your movement to go out and look. Right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I want to keep hiding and crying. <laughs> okay. Very good. Anya. Um, Anya tried her best. <clears throat> she made an effort. Now she wants to run away. Actually, I want to go look for the hooded guy. Okay. Um, so you start running. You are unable to look for the hooded guy. Because as soon as you start moving, he just appears in front of you, and he grabs your wrists. He's like... I'm invisible. Oh, that's Ooh. right. Okay. So you're invisible. I grab his wrist. <laughs> mm. You're invisible, and you run into nothing. And you just hit something else invisible. And then he appears. And he points to, you see a finger point to where, you're guessing he's guessing your wrist is. Actually, no. You see him, and he just goes. I un invisible myself. Okay. <laughs> you wanna get out of this mess or you wanna die? Oh, we're talking. Um, no. You should die! <gasps> you did this! Look at my beautiful clothes! I'm all bloody! The bird might be dead! He has children! <laughs> you should be ashamed. <laughs> Mystery cloak man. In fact, I tear down his hood. Ooh! Okay. You tear down this hood. And you see this very 
He's, he's, he, as far as you're concerned, looks human. He's this very tired looking guy with, with really scruffy black facial hair and disheveled black hair on his face. And he's just a guy. And he's like, Oh. Good job. I was expecting like someone famous or maybe someone really handsome or like maybe a weird looking thing, but no, I just dude. It's like, great. He goes invisible. Wait! And he's dude. gone. Dude! Roll a perception check. Nine. Nine, okay. Very nice. He disappears, you no. don't see where he went, and you don't have the faint... As someone who also uses the same spell, you know he, that he turned himself invisible. Uh, you couldn't get a trace on where he went, what direction he was headed, but you do notice that your bracelet is now gone. No! Oops. Oops, if... Um, Kovacs. All right. Ah, I didn't do anything! <laughs> would it be too much? Oh, actually, you know what? What would you like to do? I want to yell for Vandy's. <laughs> that's a bonus action. Oh, that's a free action, but, you know. Well, I'm running away. You're running away? Yeah. Okay, you can run, you can run away. Mr. Emmanuel, you bastard, you stole my bracelet! I was working so hard to get that! I hate you so much! I'm going to find you and destroy you! Once I get another bracelet, you motherfucker! <laughs> can, can I hear this, I'm guessing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds you like are. everyone can hear this. Yeah. She yells this and you just hear... There's a pause, and you hear off from the distance. Okay. <laughs> now, Kovacs. Is it too many actions to pick up, pluck, disengage, and go into the pretty cook? You can... You wouldn't be able to disengage. I would say picking up... Actually, you know what? Let's do this a little different. Go ahead and make a, make a strength athletics check. Athletics? Yeah. I'm good at that. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, 20. Nice. Okay. With that roll, you are able to disengage and run and literally just scoop up this bird body like it literally weighs a feather. Sweet. You're my hero, Kovacs. You sure you want to go now? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, okay. Where uh, would you like to go? Uh, into the pretty cook. Seems like that place to be. That's the happiest <laughs> spot. Okay. Oh, God. Um... Anything else you need? Any bonus actions or anything you want to say or do? Uh, when I get in there, what do I see? Uh, you go in there, you see Werblin upstairs, and he's got a bunch of lizard babies. Um, you see Trixa hiding behind the bar. Um, and that's really about it. Do I see Anya throwing a fit, or did that happen somewhere else? She's outside, right? She's still out. You know what? I'll say she. I'll say she ran into the pretty cook as well. So okay. you see, Anya is just kind of poking her head out of the bar door, just like screaming all this stuff. Um, let me see here. The pretty cook is also there, mm -hmm. and he's just like, "What the hell's going on out there? We're being attacked by an adamantite golem. I think he's going to destroy this entire establishment." No, I need this place. Yeah, so do we. Oh. Yeah. What do we do? Give me some food, quick! Something these little bastards would like. Well, oh, oh, lizards. Come on! Um, he throws you a plate of, they're still pretty large in comparison to how we're used to bugs, but slight, plate of slightly smaller bugs. It's like, oh, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna like put them up to the stool where Mr. Dude was sitting, mm -hmm. and just like sort of rub their nose in it, <laughs> and like dangle the food, like... Okay. And like give them, give them a little bit, but not enough to like satisfy their unending hunger. Okay. You see, um, let me see. <laughs> Tracking lizard. So, you see the a couple of little babies just trying to reach for it, like. <laughs> like 
track. They, 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 they're like, huh? where'd he go? You know, this guy. Uh, you see one lizard with this, almost like this uh, hula skirt of like, like skulls and like pentagrams and stuff, and it and it looks at you, and it 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 like it it smells and it looks like it's actually trying to do it. He takes a sniff and sniffs around. Good job, mate. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it goes. <laughs> He tried, tried to kill your father, you ungrateful bastard! It crosses his arms and just like looks away. <laughs> I like, I pick him up so his leg, legs are dangling. It's like, <laughs> pretty cup. Give, like, give me a beer mug. Oh my god! Okay. How big is he? It, it, it would fit. It would fit into a stein. Fill it up. Come on. With what? Beer! Um, for that one? For me! Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think that's 21. So, he's like, what are you gonna do? Nothing fatal. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go get some. He's <clears throat> going to retrieve some. Um,. I would, let's see, so, you are all now in the pretty cook. Oh boy. You hear footsteps getting closer. Just, it is right outside the door. And you all can see this. It's right in front of the windows, it's in front of the open door. And then, you see the cloaked figure from earlier show up. It just spawns right in front of this golem. Let me see here. Okay. And you see him kind of look at him. And then, th and this guy's like right outside the door. So he looks at him, he turns around, he looks at you guys, it's like, Get ready to run. So. Cool. You see him hold a hand up, and the golem is gone. Whoa. Just disappeared. Just. <laughs> he turns around. It's like, we got a minute to get out of here. Let's go. And he just starts darting. He's just running. What direction is he running? He's running away from the pretty cook. Do I have the beer yet? Into hmm? town or like the woods? Uh, he's run. It looks like he's running toward the woods. Um, Turns around. Come on! Are we still on initiative? Like, who's, what's going on? Uh, you are out of initiative. It is okay. gone. Do we I have run the out beer yet? You do not have the beer yet. You're running. I want to run out the back door and yeah. Okay, so you're running. We got pluck, mm -hmm. and I'm just. Getting the Snake. hell out of there. Snake! <sighs> Bring the babies! Yes. Snake, are you okay? You took a pounding. Oh, I'm okay. I was sleeping. Okay, good. I Just... think you should go with that guy. Oh. Okay, I think you should. I'm gonna toss you in the wood, but come back to me. You promise? Wait, what? I'm gonna toss you in the wood. I... So you don't get squished. Okay. Can I just grab the snake? And I just... Fling. <laughs> Godspeed, Snake! I look at I look at the little goth bastard. You're gonna get punished for this. Not today. Come on. And I just gather them up and start to like bumble out of the bar after you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who is so everyone's running towards the woods now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Can we still see Mr. Hood, dude? Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys are keeping. You guys are running relatively the same speed. He's keeping a good like twenty. He's keeping a good like twenty feet in front of you. So, enough to where you can hear him, but not enough to where you can, like, reach out and get him. He turns around, he's like, well, he doesn't turn all the way around, he's still running, but he, like, turns back as he's running, he's like, all right, listen, I'm gonna stop soon, I really don't feel like fighting, um, if we can just, like, not, 
kill each other once we stop running. Are we cool with that? Yeah, I don't my brains. Like, yeah. He's like, I promise that I won't fight you. I won't. I won't hurt any of you guys. You can promise the same. You promise to give me back my bracelet. Oh, uh, sure. All right then, I will be compliant. Okay, that's one. I have no quarrel with you. <laughs> okay, that's two. I'm, I'm gonna assume your little friend there's three. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, cool. I'm just crying. Like, I'm sorry. That's gonna be four. I just need a, I just need a fifth eye. You seem like the hostile one of the group. It's okay. It's necessary. Aye. No, it's all right. You need diversity in a party. I get it. Who the hell are you? Can, can I get an all right and we'll stop running? I'm really tired. You owe me a name. We all right. We shouldn't stop running. Um, so you guys have been running for about a minute now. Um, this was like a dead sprint. So you're a good distance away from the pretty cook. You're able to look back. And just like over the trees, you can see the golem has reappeared. And it's just kind of looking around. And it just kind of drops its arms. And then you can see it just slowly turn around and just start walking back from where it came. <gasps> Did he banish it? You don't know? I mean, um, is there a I way we can stabilize luck? No, no, I mean, I just, oh, um, my D&D knowledge. A, a stabilized pluck? So, um, you lay, so, you lay Pluck's mm. body down, and he goes, points it, he's like, ah, uh, um, my bad? And he, uh, gives Pluck, you see him, like, just kind of tilt him back and give him a healing potion. Mm. Pluck just kind of, What happened? Hey, mate. A lot. Your you kids want to see you. <sighs> My babies. <laughs> One of them gave me the finger. <gasps> Zerts. Yeah. How could you? I raised you better than that. I almost punished him, but we had to run, so I'll let you do that. All right, I'll take it on myself. Bless you. <laughs> By the way. Thank you, Black. Mm -hmm. He goes, ah. All right. He just kind of what? cracks his neck. Me it's too. Like, Heal me, I hurt. Like, I jump on his back. Heal like, me, I hurt. <laughs> it's like, ooh, Climb. fresh out. Sorry. Climbing. I climb, it's just cocking his head. Please, it don't hurt. I don't feel so good. Ugh. He gives you, like, the drudges of the healing potion. Like, enjoy. Yay! How much do I get back? <laughs> Let's say that'll give you a, a D, 1D4. Whoa, 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 what? Wait a second, sorry. I'm just gonna do this for now. Sure. Figure that website out He's later. like, okay. Um, my bad. I just wanna say first and foremost, I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Name! Now! Patience ain't the only thing that's short with him, huh? Hey! <laughs> it's like, I like this one. This one's, this one's plucky. Pluck looks offended. Oh. <laughs> hey, I mean, there is a pluckier one here. <clears throat> Fair. Like, so, um, but, um let, me, let me just explain. I, um, I was here on a, uh, you can call it a, you can call it a, a recon mission, just need to do some scouting. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I needed to, like, find some stuff and kind of need to use magic. And, uh, that's why I wanted the bracelet. And I figured you guys look like it'd be easier to just ask and not steal. You stole. Uh, well, uh, you guys made it really difficult, so. He's not good Let's content. agree that the blame is split. So, um,. And he look and he looks. Let me see. He goes. Okay. Okay. And he's looking at you guys. He goes. Haven't I seen you guys somewhere? Hmm? No. 
Yeah, you've seen yeah. me. Have I ever times seen him before? There's a statue yeah. in town. No, I saw, I saw the statues. Lovely. Thank Great you, work. I know. But not not you, but you three. Or, well, he points to Plug as well. You mm. four. Were, were you guys... You weren't just in Waterdeep not too long ago, were you? <coughs> I... Um, believe we were, as a matter of fact. Okay. Okay. He goes, yeah! Yeah, you guys, you guys flipped that cart! Into that, into that place! With the, with the big boar! Dude, that we was- We sure oh, did! That was wonderful. The boar awesome. is in town now, if you want to Oh, he's him. here! Yeah. No, that thing is scary as hell. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, well, let me- let me introduce myself. Uh, you can call me, uh, I go by Paulton Seppa, if you are so inclined. Um, Not particularly, no. Okay, fine, fair enough. What's it's a cool. weird name? Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, you know, our show's, you know, bigger, but whatever. It's it's cool, you don't need to know. So, um... Sh show? I'm, I'm out. What? <laughs> so, he goes, so he's like, so, uh, yeah, I was just here looking for some stuff, and I, uh, you know, instinctively I go to the nearest bar. And I see you guys with these bracelets that I hear that you need them to use magic. That's right, right? Yeah, yeah you, you found out what happens if you don't have one. Yeah, that don't. sucked, man. You guys should really, like, keep a better eye on these. And he, like, takes it and throws it back to Anya. It's like... I killed the man for this. Yes, Anya, keep on a better episode. eye on your bracelet. I was keeping... Somehow always Anya's feet. I knew we would regret giving her one. Leave me alone! I'm sensing a lot of hostility here. Yes, they're so mean to me, Mr. Bolton. Bolton, please, I um, need a hug. What, hug. What kind of? What kind hug. Of, uh, oh yeah, sure. He mm. he like hugs Anya. He's just she like, has a snake in her hair. He's not currently in here. No. Looks is just like no. I think that's just her hair. I grab him really tight and whisper like, in his ear. Oh, um, I have a son and a, a pretty tight family, so I'm good, but Must you could just- so tight if you are hugging other women! Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Uh, where I come from, people hug each other. Anya, all the time. Anya's never given, giving a loving hug, Kovacs. She wouldn't know that. This doesn't surprise me. I'm a- Seeing a lot of tension. What kind of, what kind of like, what kind of party are you, man? Like, are you guys? So mean to me. I feel like, I feel like there's some kind of counseling that needs to happen. You could say that, yes. Kovacs yeah. is my favorite. Oh, I heavily nice. distrust him. Warblin's my favorite, and he's terrifying. <gasps> Pluck, Pluck just kind of sits there, like. Uh, I'm my favorite because I am the best. And Anya's Anya's favorite because she's Anya. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure you've gotten a, a feel for what that means at this point. Uh -huh. Trix is lovely, but, uh, well, until she's not. And he looks over at Trix and is like, Oh my god, you're adorable! What's the <laughs> deal? Hey. What do you do? I'm Step just off. along for the ride. Oh, that's this one's great. What are you guys talking about? I stand in front of Trix. I'm like, step off, creepy well, man. Well, as you say Don't that, need to as you say, like, that. I'm just along for the ride. He's like, oh, it's adorable. Just one faint little black vein just kind of like courses out of your <laughs> eye and then back in. And he's just like, okay, I'm going to go back to over here now. Don't mess around with it, mate. I, whew, I don't plan to. Um, She's the reason all those lads died in the graveyard in Waterdeep. Just, just her. What? Oh, you don't remember? I, I remember uh, you trying to raise the dead. I guess she wouldn't remember. Good throw. <laughs> Thanks. Bolton, sir, I have one more favor to ask in exchange for me lending you my bracelet. Uh, I, I, didn't... I get really close to him. Okay. Hello. Hi. And then I bite his neck with my fangs. <laughs> <laughs> make, make an attack roll. It's not attack, it's gentle bite. Make an attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> that one. 
you go, you go to bike, bite, bite his neck, and like without even looking, he just kind of like puts like his palm in your mouth, and then just kind of, all right. Yep, that's our Anya. That, that wasn't the nicest way of asking, but uh, can, can we get that bracelet back? Can we get that blood? I mean, oh, oh we got the bracelet. Yeah, he yeah. already threw it back. Oh, oh. It's like, uh, well, I, I was I was sitting here because there's I don't know like first of all they gave they gave me a they gave me a solo mission I don't know what they were thinking with that they they said something who, who about they? oh just a couple fr- I don't know word gets around but basically I hear I. I need to investigate some kind of dead horse guy. You guys know anything about that? No, nope. no. <laughs> Why? Why are you so nosy? <laughs> he goes, aha. Uh-huh. Why did you need to know about him? I don't know, man. I was just sent here to get some info. I needed some extra money. We just like bought a house and stuff, and it's really steep. So I'm just trying to. I shove a piece of jerky in his mouth. Mm. <laughs> And he goes, hmm, hmm. You like it? I hope you find all the answers you need. Godspeed, goes, little human. Yeah, I, I think I did. What? Um, okay, great. Well, uh, that was. That was actually very helpful. Thank you. You guys need to give this one more credit. She is, she is a peach. I am the best. She's great. She's very, very helpful. Stranger said it, therefore it is true. My sense of twisted morals involved here. This one's an open book. I've man. been suspicious about this jerky the entire time. She won't tell us what it is. It's a deer with fur and big legs. But it's something. Well, it's horse meat for one. Yeah, deer's a mm. horse. Or at least it was horse meat. I don't know, I don't know, there's some kind of seasoning action going on, but whatever, you know. It's like, that's, uh, I think that's, that's about all I needed. To be, uh, to be honest, I don't care of if, it's like, look, like, you guys, it's like, look, we're, we're, we're like 20 minutes from when we need to wrap this session, and I don't really care if you guys killed them, so, like, if you did, you can tell me, you know, if we want to, like, pr- like, and he's just talking this weird nonsense that you never, is like, if you just want to, like, progress the plot, it'd be a lot easier on my end, it's, it, but if you did... We're suspicious of her, but we don't know if she did, but now I that she has this jerky, now I'm really suspicious, and I think she killed him. So you killed him. Yes, it was an accident. You see, I wanted it to be my baby, my daddy, mama. Wait, how does that word say? The baby's daddy? Daddy, baby. Baby, daddy. That yeah. one! Yeah. Did, did he I just wanted, good cop you? I didn't want, I wanted that to happen, but he said no. And then we got in a fight, and then I tried to defend Black because he was an alligator. But then he, he was getting hurt, so I set on fire, and then I didn't realize he was going to die, but he did. Gotcha. <gasps> so, okay, cool. Wow. And I like to collect pieces of body parts from everybody I meet except for these guys and then one day I hope to clone them or at least like make I don't know make well she is an open parts. book you are correct about that mm. but it's a terrifying story it is I, I can see that can, but an can, interesting one I'm can a, I'm I a have fa- your blood I'm a, I'm a fan of horror stories and no I have already dealt with that enough I Thank unhinged you. my jaw like, mm, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop attractive it's like, so, um, God, what, what was, what was that guy's name? Ugh. Oh, Neko Havenspear? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. guy. Right, right. Uh, is Nico Neko his kid? So you, so, so What, are you is, some kind of weeaboo? Possibly. <laughs> so he is dead. Neko, Neko. Oh. Neko. Oh, I don't know, I think she just confessed to that. If it's all the yes. same to you, yes, he is dead. And... After you say that, he like he kind of looks at you and looks you up and down. And he goes, "It's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing to be indifferent about <clears throat> as a holy man, isn't it?" I'm not as holy as I may appear, Paulton. Mm-hmm. A lot has happened, and uh, he's yeah. I've left my order. I've left my religion. I've broken my oaths. Ooh. And I've done unspeakable things. Ooh. He's not as holy as Haven's beer. Get it? Because he's all holed up. That was good. That was actually really good, guys. Yeah, seriously. I thought you, you really said him on fire. Well, he's more charred, but, you know. With holes. <laughs> there. That was good. He is lit and holy. 
I'd say on the, the scale of, uh, of holy, he's like here, and Swiss cheese is like here. Okay. Swiss. I haven't tried that. Interesting. It's an elven thing. Mmm. I'm sure. I'm sure it is. What was that thing you said about advancing plots? Oh, right, yeah. What is it? Thank you. Like Thank funeral you. Well, plot? Are we scheming? No, oh, no. Like a, like a land plot? Uh, he like, he's like, um... What are we plotting? What is your plot? Oh! And he's like, well, I mean, I'm, I'm just here for the filler episode, so I mean, it's not anything detrimental, but I mean... What? Did that fit, fit what in the hell are you talking about? Right, you guys are not used to this. I oh, look okay, up really cool. close to him again. Hello. And I whisper in his ear, Don't worry, I will find your family and kill them, and then we can be together. <laughs> He takes out a wine skin and just kind of. <laughs> that's that's normal for her. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm used to the killing thing. I'm not used to being so intentional. So that's a little different for me. So you have to give. You have to let me adjust to that. Um, Take all the time you need. It's not intentional for all of us. Some of us just lack self control. What? Who of me? <clears throat> I'm controlled. Look what I can do! Wee. By your emotions, maybe. Excuse? What does that mean? <laughs> of all the things I say to throw shade at you, that's the one that I say. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I ended up talking <laughs> with you, Marble. I've had it up to. I can't reach that high. I can't reach that high. I've had it up to here with so both of you. Thank you, Colin. Wait, me? You've been the one causing all the trouble. You're the one got your braces stolen. Werblin, don't, don't let Anya provoke you. You're bigger than that. <clears throat> she doesn't provoke me. She's just trying to kill me, get me killed, or put me in precarious situations one too many times, and I'm about at it. I don't she's, remember doing We've got to go save my daughter here not too long from now, and you, if you fuck it up, I'm gonna kill you. She's harmless, Werblin. She's just trying to find a boyfriend. You eat that chicken. I'm just trying. I'm trying to have uh, my own family. It's not my fault. This man, he comes in and he steals my bracelet and he says, "Anya, look, I think we should live together and I should have half your babies." And I say, "Okay." And then he's like, "No, guess what? I already have a wife and child, and now I'm just so sad." Did not say wife. Did not say most of those things. <laughs> Paulton, forgive my um, comrades. You seem like a level-headed fellow. You're next. You're gonna be my next jerky. I can, I can I have some of that wine, mate, please. He's like, yeah, man. <sighs> As a matter of fact, uh, when you're done, I'll, I'll have a bit. He just takes back. He's like, sorry, lad. Oh. <clears throat> <sighs> Fantastic. Puts away. He takes out a second one. And <laughs> <laughs> hands it to you. <laughs> That's all. That's my second. That's my second. Third. That's my fourth to last one. So please, like, don't finish that off. All right. Yeah, I take. I take a, a hearty swig and, mm -hmm. and hand it back. Okay. I take the rest and I drink it. Seriously, she's very interesting. Oh, that's, that's a word. Yep, that's it's her. It's starting to drown my. She once got one of those golems to smash up a guard captain's house. Did I? I did that. Oh. They have something in common now. Nah. Maybe it would be a match made in heaven. Hmm. Uh. Tell me, what is the name of wife and child? <laughs> Just curious. Oh, trust me. You killing them is not the worst thing you could do. Oh, yeah? Um. That's nice to know. I don't. So, so, so you, so you guys go to Waterdeep. Uh, you, what was that? Resurrecting the dead or something like that? Y'all... Yeah, did that, what, did something happen with that? Well, I mean, no, but, like, it's the, it, it was the intent, so you go to Waterdeep, you're like, we're just gonna raise the dead really quick. No, uh, we are just getting our we're, water, and then we are getting attacked for nothing. We had a, we have a business operation out there. We're just business owners. Would your child like to join a cult? Uh, I think he actually might be leading a cult pretty soon. That's a side story. Rival cults. Um, no reason to so you so you show up to Waterdeep, you try to raise the dead, uh, you you uh, crash a cart into Yawning Portal. You put a curfew on the city, 
And then you come and you kill a... Whoa, 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 what, what was it? Hayden Spear? That right? was just her. So you, so you cut... Well, well, it's like, well, here's the thing is, even though it was just her, something you need to realize in these types of situations, uh, they're going to hold all of you accountable. Because, of course they are. What if we had no idea about it? Well, I mean, you know, that's something that you guys need to probably get to learning. Is that as long as you guys are traveling together, then one person's actions are going to be everyone's. I'm packing a bag. Okay, everyone. I'll see you later. So if, if she travels somewhere else, we'll, we'll be good? I, not, not really the point I was trying to make. <laughs> we should go on vacation. I'm going to go visit his family. It will be very nice. Like, um... Haven Spears' family. You're going to visit Haven Spears' family. No, I'm going to go visit his you're going family. To, oh, you're... Oh. It's like, we're we're pretty booked up on on guest players for a while, so it's going to oh, be a Oh, don't bit worry. I will clear some it's, slots. It's fine. It's, I will clear some room in your schedule. It's like, plus, if you, I, I feel like if you were to leave the, if for a few weeks, it would really mess with the payroll. It's it's just a whole mess you really don't want to get into. So, so are you um, saying you just want to have my baby? Payroll. Just one baby. Okay. One. One. Um, one. One. You're speaking one. codes. I don't understand. Right. Of course. Um... Look. One. I, I feel... Do you want some berries? Do you want some babies? Ber berries, huh? Um... Oh, Vex. I... Whoop. Do you want to have a baby? He goes... What are you giving sure. me? Why My not? Own. He takes it. Like? He takes, a, he takes a bite of one of the... of one of Trix's berries. He goes... Oh. Yeah, that's nice. It's really good. Can I, do you have any more of these? I picked them right here. There's a bush right there, I think. He's like, oh, okay. And he just kind of like starts filling, filling the bag with them. He's just like, anyway. So, uh, what I was saying was, you guys really need to kind of, I don't know, because you guys, you travel together, right? Correct. Are, yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah, you guys are and you guys are on the same page about stuff. Uh, like maybe thirty percent. We have a, mm -hmm. okay. one general goal, but um, we have a couple general goals. Okay. Some people seem to just act on their emotions and I want to have a family. Cause problems. And then together we will. Kill the people who killed my family. Uh, and we will I'm gonna feast take a guess. You're talking about that one. Yeah, that, yes. That Isn't exposition wonderful? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. So, so why? Do you, I don't know. From what I'm gathering, you acting out is normal. Really inspiring. I mean, feel how you feel, of course. But I'm not. I'm not one to like, you know, like mental health shame you. But I mean, it feels like. There's a lot of hostility directed towards you now. And then he, he like, uh, let's see something. Okay. He kind of, uh, he looks around and he, he spots like a little, a little tree stump. And he's like, now how does, wait, hold on. He just kind of snaps and the tree stump you see starts uprooting itself. It kind of crawls up and then on its, on its roots, they start acting like legs, and they like walk over to him, and then he just plop back down, and then he just sits down in it and like crosses his legs. It's like, so so talk about that. Wait, what did you just do? Talk talk about that. Okay. Was that magic? I'm feeling very like you guys don't like Anya, even though she tries so hard. You say, oh, you tried to kill child, and I say I was trying to protect. You say, oh, you killed a centaur for hero man. And I say, I was trying to defend. What did I ever do to you, really? Hmm? You've started a cult of innocent orphan children in the town. You built a statue of yourself while we that's were gone. That's so uh, You feed the mystery meat that's probably from something extremely unnatural. They're eating. And you taught them how to say bad words that start with S and D that I can't repeat. Mm -hmm. Like smile and dance? I want to start backing up in another direction. See, I just don't see where all this hostility is coming from. I feel like it's because I am Iwanti. I personally don't believe Anya is evil. What? 
per se, oh. though her actions may display otherwise. I think Anya is just who she is, and where she comes from may be quite different from what we're used to, even though we are very different ourselves. Perhaps um, she is just misunderstood and doesn't have ill intention towards anyone or anything, and... No, I do not wish to make you sick. ...is really just... Anya. Yes. I appreciate your understanding, mate, but, um... You're gonna regret that one. I have enough to hear with you, Marvel! You are so mean! Oh, I'm not oh, saying oh. her actions are, um, tolerable. It's like, now hold on, hold on. See, I'm tolerating it right now. What he's doing is called empathy. He's trying to see things from her perspective, and that's very healthy. And that's I try good. to see things is from the perspective that they won't come and stab me in the back. That is also a very good perspective to take things from. Oh, is absolutely. Is there a tree nearby I can try to climb? <laughs> sure, make a strength athletics check. 16? Sure, you climb a tree. I want to hide up there. Because someone just cast magic without a wrist, without a bracelet. He looks up. He like looks up to uh, actually. Let me see some. Okay. He looks around. It's like the, the little one go. And you see him like go like hold on. And he like kind of. Mm. Oh, there you are. What are you doing up there? Protecting myself? From what? We're just talking. Didn't you just move that stump? Oh, it's okay. I have plot immunity right now. It's not It's not going to come back to us. You can, you can come back down. Plot just immunity? Plot immunity. So, so you can just make your own bracelet? So, empathy. I don't hear any footsteps. It's like, all I know is that yeah, you... Down. There are... Ro actually, I'm roll, just going to... Roll a perception check. Oops. Oh, six. You don't hear any footsteps. Can I make a perception check? Sure. Everyone can make perception checks. <laughs> Net 20. Ooh. Nat. I got 18. Net 1. Nice. So, none of you hear footsteps. I'm just gonna... You all kind of listen around for, like, footsteps after she... Yes, we're safe. After she points out the magic, you don't hear anything. And you look back to him, he's just like... Anyway... I'm just gonna contribute from up here, if that's okay. Sure thing. You do you. Feels like you have something to say, Snake Lady. I don't know. So would you say that your wife also has magic casting ability? Okay. Where do you say you live exactly? I'm a bit on the nomadic side. Let's call it that. That's not good. You should settle down. <clears throat> How old Anya. does does Paulton look? Uh, he looks to be a. He looks like he might be 30, but it's been a very, very <laughs> rough 30. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. He's like, this guy looks like, yeah, he, he's, he's in that age range, but the years have not been kind to him. Gotcha. It's like, what are you looking at? Why are you looking at me like Nothing. that? Nothing. Hey, okay. eyes off the merchandise. It's mine? You had your gents. I propositioned you. You said nothing. I he's move like, on. He's like, dude, I'm flattered, but the last pale guy that hit on me did not go well for him. I'll just say that. Um, so, I, it's like, guys, I just... It, it really feels like you're working against each other. Even though you're heading in the same direction with generally common goals, I'll say. Ish. Sort of. Yes. Like 30%. You could say we have common goals, but the ways we achieve them seem to be drastically different. Mm -hmm. I believe that the paladin's the only one that's not tried to murder me at some point. I not try. When I try murder you. I not try to murder you. You, f you feel not like that a you little... know of. Orblin, after you say that, you you feel like a little like tug on your cloak, and Pluck's just there like. 
Okay, you did it indirectly, but you two. Not me. What I do? What I do? What I do? What I do? You know what you did. I don't know what I did. Snake, are you back yet? Hello. Yes, somehow I am magically here. Snake, snake. Yes. I have to tell you something. Yes. My plan to get to get daddy baby is baby daddy is not working. How do I do it? How do I make a man love me for as long as that takes? Snake kind of looks around like. <laughs> Dips on the question. You know we can hear uh, you, right? It's like well, she was speaking snake. snake. <laughs> it was just hissing. Um, yeah, hissing. <laughs> uh, so, so the so so Paul, this guy just is kind of like just like watching all these bizarre, odd interactions. He's like, I don't know, like. I feel like, like, as someone who's not normally with you guys, I need to provide some kind of, like, emotional insight or something like yes, that. Yes, like, please. And I just melt into him. Oh, like, thank you, strange man. Like, like, something about, like, camaraderie or, like, setting aside your differences or maybe, you know, seeing things from someone else's perspective or, I'm you know. I'm on you. And like it's like cat. seeing someone from so, And he, like... He literally like disappears and then just like reappears like five feet away. He's like seeing something from someone else's perspective or I don't know, maybe acknowledging that when someone's looking for their family, maybe someone just wants a family or maybe at one point you all could be each other's family, something like that. Or maybe, let's see, it's just like, back to you um i don't know but i feel like you guys have a lot of stuff to work out and it also feels like it's really early in your season and it might not be time the right time for that much character development it did just turn spring so it did it is let's go with that but i don't know i just feel like we have a minute left for anyone to get something off of their chest before before I have to bid my new friends goodbye. I've got something to get you, my chest. Yes. You in. I don't take emotional advice from fucking humans. I have so that's me. his thing. That's his thing. Yeah. We all have, he's like, to be fair, I'm only technically human. I'm a lot of things. It's fucked up being the main one. Anya. Um, Yes. Now that. Perhaps I could give you a piece of advice. What from is it? What I, I have observed from um, courtship in human and uh, half-elven culture. Yes. I thought you holy men were celibate. Oh, I've never... Um, <clears throat> never mind. <clears throat> but, um... Oh. Perhaps, if you wish to mate with the more, um... How do I put this politely? Um, common races? Yes. Then perhaps you should observe their behavior and cultures and uh, try to fit in with them oh, a little better. They are inferior to me. They should be begging me. No, you see, yeah. that's the sort of attitude that's going to um, turn people away. No. No. If you Aww. wish to to have a mate, you should probably um, acknowledge them as an equal. I, but what if my plan uh, involves me eating them afterwards? Don't Maybe tell don't them do that, that part, oh, or don't tell them. All right. Look, all I know is that you guys seem to be up to let's call it a rough start, ish. Um, but. Sometimes you need to realize that the people who are around you, maybe even if you don't like them, regardless of how much you differ from their beliefs, maybe from how sporadic or unpredictable they may be, sometimes that's all you got. And sometimes all you got could be a lot better than you realize. So maybe 
maybe just give each other a shot, all right? You'd be surprised the type of people that can grow on you. I think that you grew on me. Okay. Don't I, leave. You I should join our party. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we all carry Pluck back to town together? Hmm? Pluck's still just kind of like... <laughs> I got him. I wish oh. Pluck was awake for this conversation. I was trying to create like a moment of uh, come right. Never mind, you do it. <clears throat> we could do like the slumber party thing where we all put our hands under him and just uh, ride as a feather. Stick it, stick as a board. I did it! It's because he's a bird! It's kind of awkward, but I will give it a try. Yes. Alright. Well, I'd say my work here is done. But I can't for the life of me remember why I'm even here, so... Um, I was trying for night. Yeah, you don't know the half of it, bug. Alright, I'll see you when you break news to wife and child, my love. Yeah, keep an eye on that one. We keep the trust of your eyes I keep on that uh, one. both. I cannot be held responsible. And he's like, alright, with that, um... Shit, I had something for this. And he just disappears. <laughs> Roll perception checks. Twelve. Oh, no, wait, that's a, a seven, so ten. Dirty, twenty. Okay. Twelve. Uh, let me see. I'm twelve. Twelve, okay. You three are just like, oh my god, he just disappeared. He's just gone. And then you, Kovacs, you look off in the distance few hundred feet away, and you see a figure, like, kind of, like, just kind of, like, scuttling away. He turns, and he's like, oh, yeah, that spell only goes, like, a few hundred feet. I gotta do it a couple more times. Can you just, like, pretend, um... <laughs> <laughs> and that is that episode of Dark and Dicey. Ah, Thank you. Watch this episode. Wow. Did it die? <laughs> oh. Wow. Did you guys have fun? <clears throat> Yes. Okay, cool. I, awesome. Um, does anyone have any announcements before we sign off for the night? Comic-Con. I'm going to be on a, another, well, it's not official d and show, but mm -hmm. it's on Brett's stream, if yeah. I can talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so uh, my buddy Brett Ultimus, if you go to twitch.tv slash Brett Ultimus, um, I'm going to be on another D&D campaign it's called The Misadventures of the Misdemeanor, and it is a seafaring nautical pirate adventure where I play a, a grizzled old pirate captain named Cornelius Armstrong. <laughs> and uh, I'm joined by Andy Stein, a.k.a. Mando Pony, and nice. Laura Shigihara, and uh, they're, they're my crew, and it's going to be a great time. That's going to be Wednesday at, I don't know... But go to twitch.tv slash breadultimus and you will find it. Mm -hmm. Who else? Uh, Nate and I have tour coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm going on the paid, expo paid and exposure tour with them. We just announced our dates for August. And yeah. my album is coming out at the beginning of next month, which I will be playing at those shows. Nice. We just had a great show at Anime Expo. Everybody was super hyped and it was an awesome crowd. So, Yeah. So come on out to that in August. Uh, we're playing a bunch of dates in like the Pacific Northwest area with... Hopefully we're announcing more tour dates. I think this month we're shooting for it, but so, not confirmed yet. But we're going to try our best. Um, uh, Christina, you said you'll be at Comic-Con. Yep. Ladybug panel and other things that I can announce soon. Cool. I'm at Comic-Con as well, uh, Steven Universe panel, and I'm doing a uh, kids voiceover panel with my voiceover teacher. That yeah. Tony did. My voiceover teacher, too. Tony does? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Nice. Will you be there? No. Oh. <laughs> he told me about this panel, though. Yeah, it's, I know he's, it's something he's been wanting to do for years and years, so we're going to do that on Thursday. Is there anything you want to plug? Anything you want to I have about? a podcast! Wee! Fantastic geeks and where to find them with my best friend Tessa Netting. Geeky things. Wee! Hell yeah. And then, of course, there's always the Dark and Dicey subreddit, Discord. Um, tag your fan art with Dark and Dicey fan art. There's been so much cool stuff, and we're trying to you know see as much as we can. So go ahead and... Post that, make it happen. We love everything we've been seeing. And I think that wraps it up for the day. So All right. with that, we'll bid you guys adieu. And we'll see you next week with our... Ne we have a show next week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait, I do have a thing to announce. Um, I My other show that I'm on, uh, which actually, even though most of you might, may or may not know, uh, our character tonight is from, Paulton. Uh, he's from Dice Camera Action. And we have our... 
Uh, regular show tomorrow, well, it's a Q&A stream because this weekend we're doing our 100th episode uh, live uh, from Seattle with Acquisitions Incorporated. It's going to be a big crossover. It's going to be like eight players playing four games in one weekend. So, Name uh, one Seattle. <sighs> so yeah, uh, be sure to tune into that. And with all that said, we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Woo. Bye.